Hi guys and welcome to Simply Scuba. In this comparison guide we're going to be taking a look at five budget regulators. So let's take a closer look. So all of these regulators sit under the £300 bracket that puts it in our budget range for this comparison guide and these of course all come in A-clamp or DIN. Okay, so if we take a close look at our first regulator, this is the Scuba Pro R195 with a Mark II Plus first stage. So the first stage itself is nice and compact, but this is a wheel and spoke pattern design. So, uh, so all of the hoses come out sort of perpendicular to your first stage. Um, it only has one high pressure port, so if you're looking to add a transmitter, that does limit you. Uh, whilst it doesn't have an environmental seal, what it does have on the inside is a X-TIS coating. Um, so if you can see on the inside, uh, the spring itself is coated with a matte blue finish and this prevents ice from forming on the internal parts. This is great for cold water diving. All of these regulators here are suitable for cold water diving, uh, but this one has sort of improved its performance since its predecessor. Comes as standard with a, uh, a traditional rubber hose, very reliable, very tough and, um, and useful, but, uh, but they're a little bit heavier compared to the newer braided hoses that are coming out on the market. The second stage itself, um, nice understated design. Uh, you've got a single purge button on the front, um, so a solid purge button on that. And what this does have is a seat saving device. So if you push that in and twist it, um, you can see it kind of sets their logo off at an angle and it pushes that purge button in just a little bit. That means that uh, when your regulator's in storage, you can, um, you can sort of extend its lifetime because it's relieving the tension off of that spring so that seat isn't going to be bedded in. The only adjustment you have on this regulator is a pre-dive dive venturi lever so it's either on or off um, and, um, and all in all it's a, a lightweight polymer so uh, great for travel but you can also use this in the UK. Then if we move over to our next offering which is from Mares. So the Mares Rover comes with the 15X first stage. So the first stage is now a 90 degree first stage. So instead of that wheel and spoke pattern, now the, um, the first stage itself is perpendicular. Uh, and then the hose comes out of that. Angle port, so it's very easy to, uh, to mount lots of different hoses. And you have two high pressure ports. So you can start using uh, submersible pressure gauges and a wireless air transmitter. So this one doesn't have environmental sealing, but it is cold water rated. Uh, all that means is that you just have to wash out this sort of area, uh, make sure that's sort of clean and dry, get any kind of contaminants out of that, make sure that salt isn't building up on the inside. So after every dive, just wash it with warm, soapy water uh, and let it dry properly. Again, this has got a, uh, a rubber hose, just like the Scuba Pro, uh, and then we move on to the second stage. So the second stage, uh, again, very understated design. You have a, um, all of this is your purge button, basically. Um, so no matter where you push on this, it's gonna activate that, um, that purge button. Um, you've got that kind of vented design. This is gonna prevent the, um, the regulator from free flowing if you swim into an oncoming current. This has no adjustability on it. Um, you don't have any breathing adjustment or a Venturi, um, but really you don't actually need it because they have their uh, VAD um, design, which is a vortex assisted design. So instead of the gas coming straight into the second stage and then swirling around, eventually making it into your mouth, this angles it and points it straight towards your mouth, uh, which should make it a much smoother breathe. Uh, all in all, very simple, understated, uh, lightweight as well, so again, great for travel. Then we're going to move across to Aqualung. So the Aqualung Core uh, is a very nice regulator. Um, you've got a few more adjustments and bits and bobs on the second stage, but we're going to take a look at the first stage first. So as you can see, this is environmentally sealed. You've got that little bit of plastic. Um, that just means that it's environmentally sealed. Uh, like the, uh, the Mares, you have four low pressure ports and two high pressure ports, and these again are angled, so that just makes hose routing nice and easy. Uh, rubber hose again, and then onto the second stage, which is the core. So the first main difference from any of these other regulators is you have this lip shield. So this is more for cold water diving. You can take this off. Uh, it's just a very simple um, sort of section of silicone that wraps around your mouthpiece, and this just covers your lips up. 
So this is great for cold water diving because your lips aren't exposed to the cold waters. They, um, you don't get that kind of numbing effect uh, that cold water uh, gives you. Also has a, uh, a reusable um, zip tie on that. So if you need to change this mouthpiece, you can do that. You don't need um, sort of extra zip ties to, uh, to put that on. You just reuse the one that comes with it. So first thing, as the air comes in, you can see we have lots of heat sinks on this, on the inlet. Uh, so that's gonna help with the cold water performance. On the purge button, most of that is a purge button, but this is all flexible. So it's kind of halfway between the Scuba Pro and the Rover. Uh, no matter where you push on it, it's going to, um, uh, it's going to purge, but it's not, um, it's not solid. One adjustment on this, you have that Venturi, the pre-dive uh, lever, that interrupts free flows. So when you first jump in, uh, it's going to interrupt a free flow before it occurs. Another thing to note is that this comes with their Comfo Bite mouthpiece, uh, which is a little bit smaller, which means that you, um, and it also has this bridge over the top, which means that you don't have to bite down quite so hard, uh, so that can reduce jaw fatigue. So if you're going on longer dives, it uh, makes it much more comfortable. Then we're gonna move across to SIAC. <clears throat> so SIAC, an Italian brand. Uh, starting off with their first stage, we have an environmental ceiling, uh, the same as the, uh, the Aqualung Core. Four low pressure ports, two high pressure ports, um, and that's a big chunk of metal, so that's great for cold water diving. Uh, lots of metal means that it's gonna absorb lots of uh, heat from the water and really warm that gas up as it flows through the first stage. So this is the first that we've had on our list that comes with a braided hose as standard. Braided hoses are much lighter than traditional rubber hoses. They're also more flexible and most of them have a higher burst pressure. So they tend to be a bit safer. Then onto the second stage. So this second stage has all the bells and whistles that you can get on a um, sort of high-end second stage. You have the Venturi lever as you do on the, um, the previous regulators, but you also have breathing adjustment. So as you screw this in, it makes it a little bit stiffer to breathe from that, uh, from that second stage. And then if you unscrew it, it makes it a little bit lighter to breathe. So you can adjust exactly how tough it is to breathe from the regulator. Some divers prefer it a little bit stiffer, some prefer it a little bit lighter. It's up to personal preference, but you can adjust this as you're in the water. Now the purge button is a solid purge button, uh, and you sort of push anywhere on that, it's going to purge it. Uh, what's nice about this is that you can sort of push on one edge and that will just open the valve a little bit so you don't get that full force of that purge um, just sort of blasting the second stage out of your mouth. You can push it a little bit just to push the water out and, uh, and clear that second stage. Other than that, a uh, very simple design, um, simple sort of polymers. You've got a bit of a metallic front so that gives it a bit of a um, sort of shiny cosmetic edge compared to the others. Uh, all in all, a fantastic little regulator. And then we move on to Hollis. So the Hollis LX100 is their, uh, their base level regulator. It's got some good styling on it, but we'll look at the second stage in a little bit. First off, we have their first stage. Uh, again, like most of these, it's that 90 degree design. You have four low pressure ports and two high pressure ports, um, and uh, environmental sealing as well. That then leads onto a braided hose, same as the SIAC, again lightweight, um, so better for travel and um, they do sort of improve the UV resistance as well. Onto the second stage, so the second stage itself has some nice uh, sort of cosmetics to it, it's got a matte black finish and that kind of honeycomb front which, is, uh, which does look good. Underneath that uh, sort of honeycomb mesh you have the red uh, sort of protector that protects the um, uh, the diaphragm underneath that, so just like the, um, the uh, Mares, as you're swimming into oncoming currents, it's not going to affect uh, and it's not going to free flow the regulator. All of this is your purge button again to push anywhere on that. It's all flexible uh, and that will push that lever on the inside to purge it. You have one adjustment on this. You have that Venturi lever, uh, so it's either on or off. And uh, another great thing about this is that it can be ambidextrous. So if you do want the hose to come out of the other side, uh, you can take it to a Hollis dealer or a Hollis service center and they'll be able to swap that over for you. It takes a little bit of time, but if you want that hose to be rooted over your left-hand shoulder, that can be done. 
Also comes with their orthodontic mouthpiece, uh, a little bit, um, these mouthpieces that you can see in red where you chomp down on, they're a little bit tougher than the silicone around it, so it's a bit more comfortable and uh, just means that that mouthpiece is gonna last a lot longer, uh, so you're not gonna bite through it quite so readily. Okay, so now we're gonna hook up each of the regulators to some gas, so you can see what it's like when they're actually pressurized. So this is the Scuba Pro R195. Uh, the purge button, uh, definitely works. Uh, you can push that lightly uh, just to get a little bit, but, um, but sort of in the water, if you're wearing thicker gloves, you're gonna really need to um, sort of be precise if you only want a little bit. Um, but very easy to find, um, definitely a positive action. You've got the dive and pre-dive. Um, <clears throat> you do notice a slight bit of difference when you're breathing, swapping it from pre-dive to dive. The main benefit of that is um, as the regulator goes into a free flow, when it's in pre-dive, that will interrupt it so it won't waste any gas. Whereas when it's in dive mode, uh, if a free flow does develop, it will just continue. Uh, so very nice, smooth breathe. <sighs> Um, so nice and quiet as well, nice and smooth. You don't require too much energy to, um, to get much gas out of it. Um, this is definitely a, uh, a contender in my top two. So then we have the Mara's Rover. So all of this is your purge button. Um, so no matter where you push it, that's always gonna purge. Um, fully pressing that button. Um, it's not quite as energetic as the Scuba Pro, but that's definitely gonna clear your regulator uh, if that fills up with, uh, with water. Because you've got that uh, sort of vortex assisted design, it, um, it actually sucks that, uh, that diaphragm in. So as you're breathing in, you're getting a smooth breathe. Instead of um, that kind of fluttering that you can get with some second stages, this is gonna be nice and smooth drawing in and as you uh, exhale, it's just gonna come out the bottom through that exhaust diaphragm. Nice and quiet, smooth breathe. Um, yeah, I'll definitely uh, sort of highly recommend this uh, regulator. Okay, so now we have the core. So the core, um, as with the Mares, all of this is flexible, your purge button. So wherever you push on that, uh, that's always gonna purge. At full power, that's fairly powerful. Um, that's of course without the Venturi, just pushing on that purge button will free flow it. But if you switch that to, uh, to maximum, it just interrupts it. So very handy, that's particularly useful on your Octo uh, because that won't be in your mouth as you first jump in. Uh, and so that definitely proves that the Venturi works. Um, as far as breathing from it, nice and smooth. It's got a little bit of flutter, um, but, uh, but all in all, it's a, uh, a decent breathe. I'd be very happy to use this in, uh, in cold waters. That lip shield, at first it feels a little bit weird because uh, very few other regulators have it, um, but trust me, when you're diving in cold, cold waters, it definitely helps. Okay, so now we have the SEAC DX200. Uh, so this has quite a smart front cover on it. Uh, all of this is your purge button, so no matter where you push on that, uh, that's gonna purge. Uh, all the way push is sort of very strong. Uh, that's with the Venturi on, with the Venturi off, it still doesn't free flow, um, but, um, but that's always a good thing. Uh, screwing it all the way in, you'll notice a little bit of difference between the amount of airflow, uh, but it's more when you're taking small breaths from that regulator um, that you'll notice that kind of change in the stiffness. Uh, so breathing from it, if I open it out all the way just to get its maximum performance. <sighs> That kind of uh, sort of horn noise when you exhale, that's fine, that's just the exhaust diaphragm. Uh, when that's underwater, the water's gonna be holding that down so it's not gonna vibrate. Um, breathing from it, nice and smooth, very good breathe from that, so I'm very impressed. Um, yeah, all in all, a good second stage on that. Okay, and finally onto our Hollis, the 100LX. Um, so good styling on that. Uh, the purge button, again, it's uh, all of that. You push on, on that and it's going to um, purge it. Quite a powerful purge button on this. Um, so no matter how much gas you want, it's gonna give you plenty of gas. That's without the Venturi. If I switch the Venturi on, that stops it from free flying. Um, breathing from it, if I put it in dive mode. Yeah, it, it gives you a lot of gas. Uh, obviously, it will only give you as much gas as you want, um, but it does feel that you're getting sort of a lot of gas when you're breathing in from it. Uh, it's a smooth breathe, though. 
there's a little bit of uh, kind of fluttering there. It's a little loud, but, um, but all in all, a, uh, a good little second stage. So that was a quick look at five budget regulators. These are all available at our website, simplyscuba.com. If you have any more questions about these regulators, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and safe diving.